Of course, it's also important to remember to have th things in perspective here. Because if you want to search for something so profound as awakening and ending to all suffering, yeah, well, then sometimes you have to uh, do things which may seem a little harsh in other people's eyes, like leaving your family behind. Uh, sometimes I think when you do something tremendously important, you have to get your priorities right. Uh, and that is essentially what the Buddha-to-be did here. Uh, he put his priorities in the right order. And of course, after his awakening, uh, he would come back again to his family uh, and he would ordain his own son uh, to become a monk. Uh, and he also became fully awakened later on. Uh, and of course taught the Dhamma to his own family so that they also had a chance to practice in the same way. Yeah. So it wasn't as if he forgot them completely, didn't have any compassion on them, yeah. but he probably knew that he would have much more ability to help his family if he found a solution to these profound problems yeah, than he would have if he, laid, if he lived a household life. Yeah. So anyway, that's what happened. Yeah. Then, having said farewell to his family, to his parents, yeah, he then went forth yeah, and became a monk, essentially. Yeah. This was part of the Samana movement. The Samana were the ascetics at the time of the Buddha. He became one of these Samanas, uh, shaved his hair, it says, uh, put on the yellow robe, something like this, maybe not quite this color, but something like this, uh, and then went forth into homelessness. Uh. And the first thing he did uh, when he went forth into homelessness was to seek out other teachers. Uh. He went to two very famous teachers at the time uh, and he went to them and said, please teach me your doctrine so I can understand uh, what it is that you have been teaching. So he studied under these teachers, uh, he learned their doctrine uh, and then practiced according to that doctrine and realized those states uh, that those teachers were proclaiming. Uh, essentially these were states of deep meditation practice uh, and he realized those very quickly. Uh, 